Hello world of YouTube and welcome to day 8 of Vlogtober. Um, it's currently 8.39 in the morning and I'm running shite tons of late. Uh, I was supposed to be up three hours ago and out by three hours ago, like, out of the house. And I just didn't wake up. I don't see why I didn't wake up, but I didn't wake up. And I have a headache and I'm tired still. I can definitely see why they think I have sleep apnea. These are all things that you experience when you have sleep apnea. But on the plus side, because there is a plus sign, you always gotta look for the positives. It actually feels like fall this morning. I don't know how cold it is, but it's kind of chilly. And I like that about today. It's chilly. Holy shit, it's 48 degrees this morning. That's what the temperature's like where I'm at. Um, headed to class. I'm gonna stop and get a coffee because my mom gave me a coupon yesterday for a coffee. And since I have the money for it, I'm gonna buy a coffee this morning. I drink coffee every now and then since my first vlog where I did coffee, or I tried coffee. Um, I try not to drink a whole lot of it, but I drink it every now and then. Because um, the aftertaste is still haven't gotten used to it yet, so. Yeah, but. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get started on my day, keep driving, um, and I'll update you throughout it. Yeah, that's how vlogs work, right? I don't know what you're waiting for. I mean, it's not like... Oh wait, 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 that's not it, that's not it. I also got coffee, donuts, and browns. And you got double the Zelda for double the fun. Double your pleasure with double my gum. Once I consume this, we'll carve or see. Okay? Well, I have consumed my breakfast goods, aside from my coffee, still have it, haven't even drank it because it's going to be boiling hot and I don't want to burn my mouth, my tongue, my face, I don't want to burn anything, so I'm going to let it cool down a bit while I talk to you guys, while I conversate with you, conversate with you guys. I uh, stretched the pun to the actual word, but either way, it's speaking of conversation, it's time for today's conversation definitely rhymes with the cookie equation doesn't really rhyme with the love story where a man falls in love with a llama but that's okay cause it's a conversation it's a conversation in my car so as I teased in yesterday's vlog the conversation topic for today revolves around the Doctor Who the Doctor Who if you don't know what Doctor Who is it's a long running British TV show uh, starring an alien named the Doctor who goes throughout many adventures of time and space with his various companions and his little blue box known as the TARDIS. And one of the biggest things about this show that's kept it going for so long is that the Doctor can regenerate whenever his health is in danger. Uh, there have been 11 incarnations of the Doctor and there's a 12th that was recently announced. And the biggest reason why I want to talk about Doctor Who is because yesterday over 100 classic lost episodes were found. Uh, to preface to those, again, who don't know what I'm talking about, uh, the first two Doctors, William Hartnell and Patrick Troughton, way back in the 60s, it got kind of a raw deal in the fact that a lot of their episodes were lost due to the fact that the BBC, um, in order to save room or to create space for other shows in terms of storage of the tapes, um, destroyed or reused a lot of the tapes featuring classic Doctor Who episodes of the first two Doctors. But... Thanks to huge fans and uh, love, a lovely thing called the internet, a lot of classic episodes have been found, and yesterday even more were found. And I believe most of them are found now, thanks to whomever found them in Ethiopia. Um, and with that being said, I feel like with this happening, a lot of new Who fans have a bit more interest in classic Who. I have watched some classic Who. I like Classic Who, actually. I think that it's an interesting thing to watch. I'm more of a fan of New Who, but I have my favorites of Classic Who as well. And I wanted to use this video to kind of give New Who fans 
uh, some tips on watching Classic Who because it is not the same monster that New Who is. There's a lot of differences, and the biggest difference is in the formatting of the show. Nowadays, if you watch Doctor Who, you know that it's typically, I mean, there's, there's two-part episodes, and there has been a three-part story arc episode, but there has never been anything like Classic Who. Um, usually everything's wrapped up in about in about an hour to a little bit over an hour. In Classic Who, that's not the case. Uh, in a lot of instances, <clears throat> episodes span well over an hour. Uh, episodes are broken up into at least four to five parts and are from 20 minutes to over an hour each, each part. Um, and so that can be a bit daunting to, to classic Who fans. As you see an episode called The War Games, and it's over 10 parts long. That's a lot of classic Who to watch with the same story. Granted, that's the longest example, but there's a lot like that. And it was a bit daunting to me at first. Um, and I, the first classic Who story I watched was a first Doctor story, which I would not recommend. I know part of you wants to go, but I want to watch it in chronological order. Well, you technically can't, because there's still some lost episodes. But I digress. My biggest... Uh, the biggest thing I'd suggest to, to classic Who fans, and re or new Who fans in, re in regards to watching classic Who, is to start with the later Doctors in the classic era and work your way back. And the reason is, they trimmed down the format a little bit. Um, they went from like longer episodes with a bunch of parts to shorter episodes with even less parts than the older parts, than the older Doctors. Uh, in the later Doctors, it's usually three to five parts, so it's a bit easier to take in after watching a bunch of New Who, and also the writing's better, the pacing's typically better in Classic Who, late Classic Who, than in regards to, in comparison to early Classic Who. Um, so I'd start with Seventh Doctor Stories, even Fifth Doctor Stories, Sixth Doctor Stories, even Fourth Doctor Stories. Fourth Doctor kind of has that as well. But I'd, I'd, sh I'd, I'd save, I'd, I'd work my way up to the first Doctor and the second Doctor specifically because um, the pacing in a lot of those is just really slow. And that even happens in third and fourth Doctor stories as well. The pacing can just weigh on you. Um, and you could find yourself a bit bored if you decide to watch it all marathon style, which I also wouldn't suggest to do. But I'd, I'd work my way into these Doctor Who stories because it's not its not like you knew who with all your fancy pacing and your lights and your, and your bazooms. It's a lot of practical effects. It's a lot of dialogue and exposition, and it's a lot of dragging a little bit. So... I'd ease, I'd ease my way into Classic Who by working my way backwards. And I'd also, speaking of the special effects, try to try to realize what time frame you're watching this in in regards to when it was made. A lot of these shows were made before the 90s. In fact, all of it was made before the 90s, except for the exception of the 8th Doctor's movie. But the special effects, in a lot of instances, are either practical or very bad CG. So keep that in mind when you watch classic Doctor stories because it is laughable seeing a little clay TARDIS being eaten by pudding, but you gotta realize when it was made and you gotta at least respect that. You know, they were trying. They were really trying to make science fiction work with these effects. And so you gotta, you gotta kind of look past those bad effects, you know, and kind of accept it for what it is. And third of all, Pace yourself. Pace yourself with what you're watching. Watch maybe a part or two in a setting, and and then come back to it later because every one of them kind of ends with a twist, a cliffhanger, something to, to get you to come back. But you want to let that cliffhanger dwell, hang on you for a bit, and and uh, you know ease into your mind a bit before you go back and go, oh yeah, that's what happened last time. Also, kind of a side tip, uh, as opposed to starting later on and working your way back, if you really want to watch some fourth Doctor stories or even some second Doctor stories, you've heard they're really good. 
look for look for lists online that that feature the best or look for the seminal episodes and kind of work around those like i've i've kind of done that like i watched the aztecs which is i've heard is a seminal first doctor story i've watched the caves of adrasani which is regarded by many as the best classic doctor who episode or the best doctor who episode of all time which was a great episode by the way i love the cage of caves of adrasani it's a great episode it's a sad episode but it's good um so I'd watch, I'd watch kind of essentials and work around that. Uh, if you don't want to start with the seventh Doctor and work all your all the way back to the first Doctor, if you want to skip around, it's understandable. But with that said, just all keep keep all that in mind. If you if you're a new Who fan, and you want to watch classic Who, because um, it's it's actually pretty good. Um, it it can be somewhat daunting, but when it's great, it's really fucking great. I mean, like I said, The Caves of Adrani is a really great episode, and I can see why many regard it as the best Doctor Who story, because from what I understand, Peter Davison kind of got the the run of, I don't want to say terribleness or greatness, because uh, to some, he's their favorite Doctor, but there's some people that consider him mediocre, and uh, The Caves of Adrani, spoiler, if you don't look into this stuff, is his regeneration episode. And apparently Peter Davison has said that if he got more stories like this, he'd be really happy to stay on the show. So I wouldn't say he got a bad run. I've heard some really good people talk about some really good episodes of the Fifth Doctor story, but everyone that I know praises the Caves of Adrasani. So I don't know. Kind of keep that in your mind as well, because there's there's some really good episodes of Classic, but there's also some really, really bad ones. But yeah, it's my conversation topic of the day. Classic Who and my Classic Who guide to, or my Classic Who tips to watching Classic Who for new Whovians. Um, I'm going to get out of here, or I'm going to finish driving to class and then go to class, and I'll see you guys after class. Um... If you have any more tips for new Whovians to Classic Who, be sure to leave them in the comments. Talk about Doctor Who if you want. Tell me your favorite Doctor, your favorite Classic Doctor, favorite New Doctor, favorite stories, favorite moments, your first Doctors. It's a Doctor Who day. I'm excited for the 50th anniversary, so it's a Doctor Who day. I may watch some Doctor Who tonight. But yeah, I'm going to go. No, I'm in first class. And it's my first time in this class. It's weird to be in it. Because it's gen ed and it's nutrition. And I'm scooting in a chair with these people. Oh, really? Most of which have never been on the vlog floor. In fact, all of them haven't. But these lovely people. And we're having fun while I spin my breaking class. He's looking at the camera now. That's Jacob. That's Jonathan. And that's Sarah. These are my friends. There's more, but they're not here. I'll see you guys after class. Did everybody hear that? I'm out of class. I don't know if you can tell by looking at me, but I am exhausted. I am so very tired. I'm ready to be home. I'm gonna take a nap when I get home, guys. I'm really fucking tired. I'm gonna try and stay up, but I don't even know if I can make it home. I might pull over and take a nap somewhere. Um. I plan on filming something when I get home, but I don't know what. 
all I know is that I'm very tired and that example that I or the, what I just filmed in class was uh, an example of something that we're studying it's masking uh, it's two tones I guess it, it's, it was explained in the video but it's two tones being played at the same time before they event one eventually becomes another tone and it and it's that process yeah that's what that was and now headed home we'll see you guys later so I'm home after my drive, I'm not tired anymore. I just kind of woke up, got a second drive. Maybe the caffeine I was ingesting finally hit my system. But either way, I'm making a late lunch. And I'm going to numb on that before I make, a, uh, make some notes. That's my lunch being done. Either way, uh, it's one of the chicken alfredo things. Um, after I'm finished eating my lunch, I'm going to make some notes for a review, for a discography review actually. Um, I'm going to make some notes because I've been listening to some records by a band that I've been vibing on a lot lately and I'm going to uh, make a discography review, my framing has been awful, for the next few days, um, or within the next few days, so that's my plan for now. Uh, I'll let you guys know how things go. I'll update you, obviously, later on. Probably when I'm making notes and possibly when I'm filming. It's 6.40 and I'm writing notes. I got notes here. I'm not going to show you close up because I don't want to ruin the surprise of what the review may be. But um, I'm doing notes. I listened to one of the records on the way home and I'm kind of re-listening to certain bits. To, to kind of flesh out my notes a little better. Um, and yeah, that's most of what I'm doing right now is that um, if I have time, which I don't have class tomorrow, so I should have time, I'll probably film this review tonight because it's a smaller discography review. I figured I'd do a small one, then a big one, and then a small one again because there's three that I want to do, three discography reviews that I want to do, uh, at least in the immediate future. Um, there's also an album that I want to review because I realized that I actually want to discuss this record because, I don't know, I just, it's, it's a record that I like that I kind of want to review. So, I have, uh, at least a discography, three discographies that I want to do in the near future and an album review. Also, I want to edit my clerk's review and post that either today or tomorrow. So, yeah, there's a lot going on right now with me in the YouTube verse a lot of my mind uh, but yeah I'm gonna write my notes uh, for this discography review then if I have time I'll film it and you'll see something of that to that degree um, so I'm sitting here I just finished writing a couple pages of notes for the review and I did a list that I have to condense down for a top 11 that I'm gonna be doing um, I don't know when but it's in response to a line I had made in a um, in my top 11 albums of the year, so, yeah, uh, right now, I'm eating dinner, hot box and Cheetos, because that's all I can think of to eat, and I'm probably gonna watch more Steven Vlog, because I've been addicted to Steven Vlog lately, um, while I wait for Ink Masters Finale to come on, but I don't think I'm gonna be filming the review tonight, but I will be filming it tomorrow, because I'll have time tomorrow. Probably going to finish up my notes tonight and um, all that sort of stuff. So that's what's happening. Um, but yeah, the night be going well. Pixie, what the hell are you doing? I'm watching Steven vlog while I wait for Catfish, my last show of the night, with which I'm going to be texting Tiffany during. And then that'll be my night pretty much. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. Tomorrow, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I might be going out with the viral mom to go uh, hang out out of the house. Uh, but I do plan on filming the review I was working on today, tomorrow as well. So that should come out Thursday if I edit it well enough. But I don't know. I also want to start gathering footage for my next top 11 of my retrospective, which should come out in November. So, yeah. I have a lot that I'm working on, but 
It'll all come together soon enough. Again, hopefully you're enjoying Vlogtober and you are excited for tomorrow's vlog. I have been Viral Rack. You guys, you guys have good days, lives, and situations. The conversation topic today was in regards, in regards to Doctor Who. I forgot that that happened today. And I'll see you tomorrow.